Hello everyone. This is Prashant from Zebo.ai. Uh, so Zebo.ai uh, Zebo is a platform in dermat uh, is an AI based dermatology platform, which connects patients with the dermatologist after a patient has done their uh, preliminary skin analysis. The problem statement that we are solving here is uh, there are uh, there are a number of patients, uh, a lot number of patients who are suffering from skin problems, but there are very less uh, doctors or dermatologists available to tackle those problems. So, as you can see, uh, there are only 6,000 dermatologists catering to the population of 121 crore. Out of this 121 crore, uh, 200 billion people suffer from skin problems. And out of these 200 million people, 20 to 25 million people suffer from acne problem annually. In India itself, if we see globally, there are 681 million people suffering from acne, and that was the stats in 2016. And this is increasing at a rate of 10% uh, per year. So the market opportunity that we are looking at right now is uh, it's a seven billion dollar opportunity in India and 134.8 billion dollar opportunity in uh, in the whole world, and it is estimated that. Uh, by 2020, there are 30.8 crore people who are going to suffer from skin problems. Now the problem here we, uh, we are facing is uh, these people who are suffering from skin problems, they do not consider it as a problem, but they consider it as a, a part of normal growing up. And hence, uh, those who are going to visit to clinics, uh, they first have to book the appointments, they have to visit the clinic and they have to spend time on uh, travel and consultation as well. And once they reach the uh, re they reach the clinic, they again have to wait for a uh, uh, wait before they meet the doctors. And for the doctors, what the problem is, uh, they have to hire someone, a receptionist or someone who can take care of all the patient history and patient details uh, before he or she meets with the doctors. And again, a follow up is one mechanism which does not happen. So our big idea is to provide a one-stop uh, shop to treat all the skin issues at the, uh, at the fingertips. We have built our AI uh, assessment. We are providing uh, online consultations and there are automated follow-ups with the doctors. So the patient journey is user does the acne assessment. They'll get the results within uh, 16 to 20 seconds. The user will choose the doctor, uh, whichever doctor he or she wants to consult to. And they can, uh, the consultation happens after the consultation, their prescription, the prescription, the prescription is shared with the doctor and a automated follow-up consultation is booked right after uh, the first consultation after 15 days. So for doctor, they accept the appointment, the patient reports are shared in advance, they, the consultation happens, they prescribe the regimen and the follow-up reminders. And then there are weekly payouts. So there are competitors available in the market. Uh, there are derma clinic, dermatology clinics, then there's Kiosk Skin app, and then there are dermatology applications as well, such as Practo or MFine. So uh, the derma, as you can see, the dermatology clinics are uh, available for a specific duration. There is no tech involved and the patient has must take a prior appointment and then there are long waiting times. For Cure Skin, they have, uh, they have come out and they have said they, they are providing a, an accuracy of 91% and their model is based on machine learning. The problem here is their ex, uh, solution is expensive as they are promo promoting in-house brands and follow-ups are something that depends on the users or patients. The dermatology apps that are available, they are just an interface to uh, connect a, the doctor with the patients and that's all. Whereas we are providing, uh, we have a deep learning algorithm with an accuracy of more than 95%, we are available 24 into seven, and the assessment takes hardly 16 to 20 seconds, our AI assessment, and there are no forced regimen, there are no brand endorsement, and there are automated follow-ups which, uh, which are set right after the first consultation. This is the core team, uh, I'm the founder, uh, I did my engineering from NITK, uh, this is my third startup, the first one I did right after, uh, right after my school, uh, it was an e-stationery store. The second one I did in college, uh, which went by name Washin. It was a 
college laundry startup to provide laundry services to college students although we were doing good in that we had to shut it down due to college security reasons and uh, but at the same time when college was setting its own laundry system uh, i i was one of the founding members i have worked at graphene services uh, as a, a singapore startup as a solution engineer and have worked closely with them uh, with their ai team and their uh, business intelligence team we uh, we have adil as our cto who 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 is also a graduate of nitk uh, he was my senior at nitk and has been a part of washin as well in washin and at zebo.ai he handles the mobile app development and web development uh, he has an experience uh, of 1.5 years as a tech analyst at goldman sachs we have dr sandeep arora the head of dermatology uh, he has been practicing dermatology since 2001 and he is currently working at a really reputed firm and uh, dr sandeep arora aligns with our view that uh, with with uh, ai uh, dermatology can serve more number of people can and the doctors can reach out to more number of patients so uh, we have done the soft launch uh, in july it's been 6 six, six weeks uh, and while we don't have any marketing or sales team we have closed uh, close to 60 paid consultations with the doctors and the average daily active user base is uh, between 5 to 8 the customer acquisition plan is first to capture the bangalore market and then uh, start with uh, and then uh, uh, capture the people uh, market in tier 1 cities such as uh, delhi mumbai and then move to tier 2 cities such as pune and hyderabad uh, the revenue model is on subscription fees and the consultation fees and then there is uh, the patient management system that we are providing to the doctors and the inventory management where we'll be uh, promoting will be uh, offering sponsored ads just like amazon or flipkart do to their vendors uh, on our product platform and then uh, through uh, data analytics as well uh, so this is the user activity of the soft launch data that we did and we have seen uh, increment by 12.9% on in weekly active users and in daily active users the increase has been by 4.2% we require a funding of 500k uh, out of which 40% will go into its development uh, 25% will be used in marketing as well as in sales 15% is the operations and uh, 20% in the gcp and infra thank you uh, i am open for questions now question about the service that you're providing so you're able to improve the number of patients that can be seen by a dermatologist is that the idea to get information about their clients them with access to the dermatologist is that correct uh sorry scott your voice is really fragmented uh, not able to comprehend but sorry about that let let me try to restate it um sure so is the value proposition to the dermatologist that you're improving the efficiency and the number of patients that they can see is that the value proposition Uh, so it is more on b2b2c model where uh, the dermatologist we uh, to the dermatologist we are increasing the efficiency to uh, see more number of patients at the same time we are education uh, educating the patient that a skin problem has to be treated by a skin specialist and not by some beautician or or some cosmetic products which they see just uh, on uh, during the advertisements So as a patient I use the mobile application I, I get a preliminary diagnosis uh diagnosis I set up an appointment with the dermatologist there's a charge for that obviously so how is that charge taken care of in other words are you in the middle of that transaction where you can take a fee off of that uh yes so uh the once the appointment is booked first uh 
the the week uh, the dermatologists are paid out on a weekly basis and uh, the current uh, the current revenue share is 60s to 40% where 60% goes to the dermatologist 40% comes to us but if a patient choose to go for a customized regimen where he or she won't be uh, taking a dermatologist consultation as the problem is not that severe in that case 60% will be coming to zebo.ai and 40% will go to dermatologist as the regimen will be undersigned by the doctor got it thank you and then for the dermatologist one, one final question please for the dermatologist do they have a management information system right now or is that something that you're providing to them because they don't uh, so as i stated earlier dermatologist uh, those who are using practo or m fine uh, those who are on practo they uh, they it's just an application which will provide which provides the dermatologist a platform to connect with the patient but it is not a patient management system so that is what we are also providing okay so the dermatologist today they have a electronic medical records and that's something that you provide is that the case uh most of the dermatologists are still uh, recording the uh, having their patient histories on paper rather than storing it uh, over the mobile application okay thank you prashant uh, okay so